It is a firm conviction that health is wealth. The World Health Organization defines health as a state of well-being of the body, mind, and the environment a person dwells in. Hence, the popular saying, health is wealth, harbors a profound truth. To start with, the issue of health is that which permeates the world. Based on the constant need of optimal health, effective waste disposal system, and a clean, tranquil environment, simply put, to maintain a healthy state, the proper foundations towards cleanliness has to be made. In recent days, we have seen the mismanagement of waste in Cross River State. Statistics have shown that there was a rise in quantum of waste littered around the Calibre metropolis and entire state alike. Places like the high commercialized areas were badly affected. All this took place within the time and space of the outgoing governance. Such shouldn't happen. Citizens' health are put at risk and the standard risk to get more sick every passing day. On proper waste management system increases the odds as to the risk of malaria prone environment, exposure to bacteria and epidemic breakouts. The rapid rate of uncontrolled and unplanned urbanization in Cross River State has caused dorm changes in the environment, particularly that of generation of waste materials. The waste materials increasing has been a byproduct of excessive population, a lame domestic waste management system, lack of adequate funding, lack of trained professional waste managers, absence of effective monitoring and control measures, lack of modern technology in implementing effective waste management methods. Containers and packaging used and discarded in everyday life becomes waste. In this age, garbage and other refuse materials materials are thrown onto garbage cans, which overflow. This unsanitary practice creates a fertile environment for diseases transmitted by insects and rodents such as malaria, asthma, lung disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, cancer, and lots more. We had the privilege of speaking to some people whose environment happened to be amongst the affected. Let's hear what they have to say concerning this. Besides all this disease air pollution causes, it also contributes to other health hazards. People who suffer from chronic conditions such as heart disease have a higher risk of complication and death when living in areas with higher concentration of air pollution of any form. Malaria Malaria is a mosquito-borne infectious disease of humans and other animals caused by parasitic protozoans belonging to the genus Plasmodium. Malaria causes symptoms that typically include fever, fatigue, vomiting and headaches in severe cases. It can cause yellow skin, seizures, coma, or death. Mosquitoes carrying parasites can only breathe in an unclean environment. Asthma Asthma is known as a respiratory condition marked by attacks of spasms in the bronchi of the lungs causing difficulty in breathing. It is usually connected to allergic reactions or other forms of hypersensitivity. Asthma is thought to be caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Cardiovascular diseases. This is a class of disease that involves the heart and blood vessels. Common CVDs include ischemic heart disease, stroke, hypertensive heart disease, and others. The underlying risk factor to CVDs are age, 
sex, tobacco, physical inactivity, diet, social economic disadvantage, and air pollution. Air pollution, particulate matter, that is atmospheric solid or liquid matter suspended in the Earth's atmosphere. PM has been studied for its short and long-term exposure effects on cardiovascular disease. The size of the particle is a main determinant of where in the respiratory tract the particle will come to rest when inhaled. Larger particles are generally filtered in the nose and throat via cilia and mucus, but particulate matter smaller than 10 micrometer, referred to as PM10, can settle in the bronchi and lungs and cause health problems. All these diseases and a host of others not mentioned can be caused by air pollution as a result of waste products inappropriately managed. It can also attract rodents and insects, like earlier said, which harbor gastrointestinal parasites, yellow fever, worms, the plagues, and other conditions for humans. And exposure to hazardous waste, particularly when they are burned, can cause various other diseases, including cancers. Waste materials can contaminate surface water, groundwater, soil, and air, which causes more problems for humans. We live in a society where taxation is on the high side. No basic infrastructure is put in place. Lack of electricity on the increase. Daily revenues are collected in the market areas from both the women and men selling and vehicle owners who pack. What are all these phones used for? Why can't we for once serve the people? The government should try its best to make sure that the kind of waste not properly managed we saw in the last era shouldn't be seen again.